Welcome back, everyone. How's it going? Good, good. I'm gonna build a city on a wall. And, uh, well, I think you see what my plan is here. Actually, I had to do this outside because it's super scary to smash something indoors. So I don't know, it's really easy outside. Whatever reason. This is just like some kind of 80s frame full of spices? I don't know what you call this. Weird. Bunch of pepper. Some kind of mystery 80s seeds. I don't know. Anyway, I got all that out of there. This is just a thrift store find. I think it was a pretty good find. Um, I wasn't sure if I had lead-based paint, so I went in ahead and did a little test. Probably not old enough, but no pink, no lead. Awesome. Time to cut it up. I'm gonna use foam core as my background. I mostly end up covering it up, but I just needed something that wasn't nasty wood. I originally thought I would carve into this, but I didn't end up doing that. You'll see. It's nice to have the option, though. I'm gonna give you some of the lore soon about the about this wall city, but first I'm gonna show you this amazing dumpster dive find. Like this this tub was just in a dumpster. Like some kid's parents were mad at him or something. They just threw all his toys away. These toys were definitely a little hairier than I would have liked, but um. That's the price you pay. There's some good stuff in here, though. This video is based on The Map to Everywhere, which is a young adult fiction book. I can't summarize it for you. Just know that there's a magical pirate stream, a map to everywhere, wizards, time travel, and this video is about the sinking city of Minerva, which is in book number two. I made a little stop motion to show you the mechanics of Minerva, so check this out. First, you got the gravel. That's the houses at the bottom. Then you got the siphon of Minerva, which is a whirlpool. You got a cliff, and then you got a wall that's on the cliff. And then you got some gears built into the cliff, which power the pool of the segi. House on the wall, but the wall is sinking. There's an orb that will grant a wish. It's being filled up with pirate stream energy uh, that is somehow fed by the siphon of Minerva while the city is sinking. Those two things are, are related somehow. So anyway, <laughs> where were we? Oh yeah, I was drawing. So when you first start a project like this, it's really intimidating. And I always start with a drawing to try to like get my head straight about what I want to do. I have a list. I want to do ladders, slides, gears, glass, lighting and pipes, gardens, buttresses, a waterfall, cranes, shanties, and last of all, fancy houses. That's all the stuff I got to get into this build. Probably some other stuff too. I'm starting off with air dry clay. I just need to blend in the edges of the foam to the wood of the shadow box or whatever we're calling this thing. It'll look rocky. Air dry clay looks rocky when you just smush it onto something. You don't have to do very much. You can smooth it out with some water. If it gets a little dry, you can add a little water too. Air dry clay is really fun to work with. And you can add some PVA to it and then it'll hold together better. So at this point, I'm just going through some bins of bits and I use a lot of trash in this build and a lot of bits. So I'm kind of just like looking for ideas and looking for things that I think will work. Good way to get inspired. So we're starting at the bottom, which is the gravel. Gravel has the shanties. I got these laser cut kit castoffs at a model train show. Um, I'm really excited to use these for this build. I've been sitting on them for a while. I think they will make excellent shanties. In fact, I know that they do and did, but you'll see. But I gotta start with this dock, which is what the shanties will sit upon. 
fancy shanties. They sit upon things. So I have to start with a template. Um, it's a lot easier if you start with a template when you gotta make something that you're not sure what size it should be or how to get it into where you need it to go. And then I made some little prototypes for the shanties as well. Here I'm building the underside of the dock, so this is like the structure. Um, I start with matches. They make good timbers. I was going to link them all together, but then I realized I had a better solution for that. Um, my Hippie Princess fireplace, fireplace matches are good for that purpose. They're nice and long. So I just glued this stuff right onto the fiberboard, which is cheating, I realize. I am cheating scum. And I have bamboo skewers to make the dock legs, which are also known as piers. But I kind of like to think of them as legs. It's like I made a buffet table. This is dollhouse parquet floor tile. And I'm just like splitting the wood so that I can break it apart and get a nice rough plank for my dock. Throwing down some wood glue here. Wood glue. It's so tacky, am I right? That's my dock. All primed. Cut away the excess. I got some legs hanging out over the edge. I bust those off later. Now I'm going to build some shanties. So the houses in the gravel are rough. They're like little little markets and, and little houses. This is not the fancy part of town. Go figure, like the people at the bottom are always uh, not living it up like the people at the top. Although their houses aren't sinking. Because they're not on the wall. So, I know you can't see this very well. I'm sorry about that. That's a better view. This was actually really fun. Um, when you have to build something crappy and you don't care if it's like crooked or or crazy. Like, it's actually really fun. I had a blast, like, like slapping these little janky structures together. Highly recommend it. It's also really nice to work with this wood, this like laser cut, whatever kind of wood that is. Minerva's a magical place, but it's not alien, so the construction isn't too outlandish. I want to keep it like pretty grounded in, in what we're used to, nothing too weird. Everything is made up from dull wood that washed up like shipwrecks, so dull wood in the story is the only material bo so boring that it doesn't get transformed by the pirate stream. So everything's made of this dull wood. I'm trying to imagine like ship parts just washing up and getting transformed into these buildings. Megan's here to eat my building materials. Thanks Megan. Helpful as always. So here's my first structure. I like it. It's cute. It's suitably craptacular. Oh yeah. And it fits alright. Onward. This is a 22 times speed, so that tells you how long this takes to build something crappy. I just had to like think about. It's just a different way of building, I guess. It's a different way of thinking. Making a third house. I don't know like what these parts were were from. They're really nice. I made like a like a modern or a postmodern house. No, that's that's not what postmodern is. I don't know what that means. Hey, it's Brownie. Brownie's visiting. The pirate stream glows gold, so Minervans use the water from the pirate stream to light up their city. So I have some tubes and some straws that are gonna hold my lighting. 
I'm just gonna feed them around. The cliffs have an entrance to catacombs. Um, the catacombs can't sink because you need the entrance to be there. But somehow the catacombs are also flooding. I don't understand these mechanics very well. But there's my catacombs entrance. Cute. <laughs> old hickory. Old hickory strikes again. I just needed fewer divisions in my shadow box, basically. I'm building another house. This house is going to look like it was stripped for parts. The house is closer to the bottom of the wall. Um, they get their materials reclaimed and lifted back up the wall by the cranes that are up top. So they're not wasting the material. So the houses that are down low look kind of stripped out. And now we're moving on to the Sinking City construction. That is, of course, the buildings that are on the wall. So these are supposed to be fancier. Hopefully I can build a fancier building. I love this cereal, um, but I'm also disgusted by it. Like peanut butter town? A whole town made of peanut butter. God, I, I want to retch thinking about it. Good cereal though. As good as any cereal can be. I mean, it's terrible for you, obviously. Now I'm just building the sides of the building. And I, I don't know why that's the same word. But um, I gotta paint it before I seal it off. The inside's gonna be black. And I just want the middle part of these cotton swabs. I'm marking them out. I'm going to use these as standoffs to hold a glass walkway. And these were a pain and I knocked them off like 800 times in this build. So I added some internal supports to this back and I also notched out those supports to allow for lighting and to install windows. And this is just a sepia ink wash, which I am going to use to stain the wood of this building. And this first go round, I did not get enough ink in there, so I gotta add some more ink. And I tell you, this technique, um, I'm sure it's not unique, but I've learned a lot from watching Colonel O Truth's miniature issues. I love that guy. Um, he's building an awesome rocky medieval town at 10 millimeter scale, so you should totally go check it out if you don't know it already. Very soothing videos. Not all like hectic and crazy like mine. <laughs> so now this is just some trashy plastic. A uh, canopy glue dries clear, so I'm just plopping some windows into my fancy building. Fancy buildings get windows, generally speaking. I just gotta clamp it while it dries. I should have done this before I put on the back. I didn't think it through. Yeah, it worked. It worked okay. So now I'm building these glass walkways that I imagine you can just like walk around the building. It's of course like totally impractical to have a glass walkway. Um, but I was thinking maybe a wizard could enchant it so that it wouldn't get dirty all the time or be slippery and then I was thinking like a wizard who helps you clean like that would be so sexy back on track just attaching doors now my fancy apartment building and for a little break, I'm gonna fill up some Connects holes with air dry clay. I don't want these to look exactly like Connects. Um, I gotta, I gotta blend them in a little bit. Just want the gear look. Now I'm trying to figure out. I'm gonna build a building out of a bottle, so I gotta pick the right one. 
Um, I want it to like stick out past the frame a bit. And unfortunately, this is the bottle I went with. Um, I actually really like this bottle. Uh, I sat through two hours of interviewing at a company. And they didn't give me the job, but I got this bottle of water and it's just a really cute bottle and I destroyed it. And it was really hard to get, but... Company's stupid. I hate them. They want their dumb job anyway. Run some EVA foam in the bottom of this uh, bottle building. And I added some ripply texture from another bottle. And now I'm making some bottle cap balconies. That I think is a piece from a firework, actually. Stuff you find on the ground, you know. Bottle caps are hard to cut open, but with enough hacking at it, you can eventually get it. I'm just scoping things out. This, I think, was a gum container. That was a takeout container. It's got some good texture. I like this. This bumpily, bumpily texture, so I'm snagging bits off of that. And I've got kind of a weird little thing going on here. You look like a character, like the whole time I was building this, it just looked like a goofy character. I'm exploring the question, what if we made houses from windows, then painted them to make walls? I kind of liked how this worked out. It was really fun to just like build onto the outside of a bottle and then uh, just paint the parts that you don't want to be window. But I was really worried that I was making a really ugly building, but I got like pretty far into it and it seemed like it was going to turn out okay. <laughs> you gotta trust the process, man. That looks like an angry penguin to me. I don't know. I see faces everywhere. Ah, uh, it's spring. Spring happened while I was making this video. It's a great time of year. We really need to mow. <laughs> Alright, so there's a couple of coats of primer on that guy. I think it turned out to be a pretty cool building overall. And now I'll make another bottle building. Um, after I drop it a few times. This one's gonna be a market. So I got my initial building and then I got this little like atrium guy on the side. And some doorways. And you're gonna be able to get out there from inside the building. Now I'm just making a foam core floor for this little market. And then again, I'm just decorating the outside of this uh, all glass building. EVA foam is just really fun for this. The, the hot glue was messy, that part wasn't great, but the foam worked really well. This is another takeout food container. And that is a piece of a hair curler. Which I thought looked kind of cool in that corner. More takeout container. Save your takeout containers. Wash them, but you know. open out where I want to stick some more trim. And now, there it is primed. I like how it turned out. And I'm going to build some little shelves to go inside. 
I didn't really do much in the way of Greeblies, but I did decide to make some stuff to go inside randomly. I'll do more store stuff like this in the next video. That's what you're into. And this is my dumpster girl. I feel like I have a lot in common with her. I often feel how this girl looks. Um, disheveled and exposed, but still smiling. That's me. Alright, so let's make a crane. This is just trash. I don't know what it's from. That's a spice container lid with an Easter egg on top of it with the top chopped off. I don't know. I made that a while ago. I'm not sure what I was doing, but it came in handy now. Yeah, I'm using EVA foam to help me get this stuff attached to it. It's itself. Get this stuff attached to each other. Stick these things together. And not to me. I have five challenges with super glue. So that's my little crane. And he spins around. And I got some 22 gauge wire. And I'm just like wrapping it around this uh, whatever that thing was. So that this guy will still be able to spin freely. Because I want to play with this crane, you know. I like, wanna, I want to be able to operate it. And I can. Whee! I got some rip-off Lego bits for this guy. But I'm going to prime it first before I go and block off access. Here we are. Got a little platform. HO scale, I think. Train, train set thing. I'll do more in the next video. He's a little plain, but we'll deal with that next time. So here's how we're looking right now. And I gotta do this background, this this foam in the background. I gotta do something there, so I gotta take everything out, but I'm gonna mark it first so I remember where things are and where they go. Um, because I wanna be smart about how I place my clay. And I had to stop working here. Sometimes Megan shows up and I don't have the heart to kick her out. She's so pretty. Okay, I kicked her out. <laughs> she only gets a little of my time. I'm busy. So the gravel will just have like a rocky background. So I'm just going to smoosh some clay on here. I don't really have to be too precise about this. I did add some foam core there to give myself more purchase. But, um, it's pretty easy. Just, just smoosh it on. I'm gluing on this gear. Lots of gears in Minerva. And I want this frame of the shadow box thing to blend in. I don't want it to look like what it is, so... I'm just trying to build up the clay so it doesn't look quite as shadow boxy. I'm putting in a little walkway back there. You gotta think about how people would walk around in this town. That's where the slides and ladders come in, but also walkways. And now, in the fancier part, Minerva proper, the city, um, this is going to be brick, or like a stone, a stone wall. They don't really talk about in the book what the wall is made out of. So, I got to take some liberties here. Again, it's just air dry clay and water to smooth it out. And a little pokey tool. And I kind of like tamp down the bits that are sticking out too high. But pretty easy. I wasn't too particular about what the bricks look like. 
I don't know like how they make these bricks in Minerva, so it's okay if these things are, are wonky. In my thinking. And now it's all dry. I think it's looking pretty cool. Now I need some more walkways. This is just foam core that I'm carving walkway into. Got it painted. Kind of the going with the cobblestone look. And I put some air dry clay on the underside because I wanted it to look like cliff, but I want it to look more like cliff. I want more of an overhang, so I'm just throwing in some more clay here. Add some more depth. There's gears behind it, so I can't go all the way. And the glue helps you smooth it out and holds it in place. I feel like I already said that. Now you extra know. I got two more buildings to go, so I'm thinking about what I want to do. I was kind of imagining these two bottles attached to each other to make one building. Um, I wanted to cut the top off of this, but uh, it was like really hard plastic. I tried a number of um, silly techniques in some cases and got nowhere, so I ended up just keeping it. But I did shorten it, shorten the bottle, so it would sit next to this other building. And I'm taking the top of that thing. I don't know, because it looked cool. I just wanted like a cool balcony up there. template is just showing me my height that I have to work with. So now I'm, I'm back to cutting plastic and I'm not good at it. Look at this. I don't know how I haven't injured myself yet. I did eventually get it. So there they are. So when you are working with bottles, you want to find a way of disguising the fact that you're working with bottles. So you just add more bottle parts to them, is what I find. This is actually like a solo cup, I think, like a, you know, a disposable cup. It's going to be a wizard's tower, the building on the left. It will be Analessa's wizard tower, but her wizard tower has bird legs and it is always running on a gear, which is turning. And I just did not have the ability um, or the space to do that, so I did not opt to do that. It would have been cool, for sure, but could not be, was well, not meant to be. I would need to be a wizard myself, alas. I am no wizard. Is there something like a lady wizard? Like, is there a lady wizard term? That's a sideline. It's not important. Anyway, this was a spice container. I think it was cumin. I smelled cumin the whole time I was working on this tower, which was unfortunate. That's not a great spice smell. Keep that in mind when you select your plastic. Now I'm just testing out some technique here seeing what I like better, whether I wanted to do carved in bricks or like cut up a bunch of bricks and glue them on and I thought that looked kind of crappy so I opted to go for strips of EVA and then just carving in the brick shape that I needed. This was pretty easy and I think that it turned out pretty well also, you will see. This is before notching out all the bricks. I got some space at the top. It's gonna be like window. That's what I'm showing you. And I have kind of a dull blade, so it's not cutting through the actual foam. And there it is. I think it looks pretty good. And like Minervans are crazy about their balconies, so we gotta do a balcony on top. 
don't know if you, it's more like a rooftop. Uh, I can't think what you call it. It's not really a balcony. So I'm showing you now the levator snails, which are these huge snails that crawl up the sides of buildings in Minerva. And they have all these tentacles they hang down and they'll give you a lift if you want to get from one part of Minerva to the other. Um, which is always up, I guess. So I'm gonna make one of these snails. I got some foil in there. Um, I'm using cosplay. I wanted something flexible. You'll see why later. You'll see how I screw it up. I've never made a snail before. Um, I was trying to think what snails look like. They're really weird. This was like a weird little creature to make. But also very fun. They've got these like skirts. I don't know. Flappy little skirts for crawling up these buildings or doing other snail things. Now I'm making eye tentacle bits and the wire inside is going to allow me to crack these on accident later without actually breaking them. Um, so that's important. I stuck a little eye thingy on top. Socket? I don't know. I pre-baked these eyes and then plopped them in the little sockety bit. Do I use too many annotations? Am I masking for a friend? No, I'm asking for me. I feel like I might use too many annotations. Oh yeah, don't forget eyelids. Gotta have eyelids. Did you guys ever see Flight of the Navigator? That's what this guy's eye reminded me of. I loved that movie. At this point I'm just working on making it more of a head. I didn't think he had much of a head. And these little tentacle eyeball things gotta go on there, so I'm poking some holes. And then I'm gonna bake those guys and texture this guy with a toothbrush. I love texture. Adding texture to clay is really fun. Snail texture. So that's what his eyes look like. It's actually a her. That's what her eyes look like. Um, I show you bending this clay, but that was a bad move and I will show you why. Um, I bent it after I baked it, and then I baked it again, and it cracked. So now I have to use some liquid sculpty and uh, patch up those cracks. So that's an important lesson. Anyway, um, her name is Ellie, and I'm going to add more to her later in the next video. So this is my other building. Um, I threw on a bunch of EVA foam and hemp string to make kind of like a nautical-themed guy. It's a cliffside city, so they need to have a nautical themed shop, obviously. So I'm trying to figure out, this is going to be a boat. No, sorry. This is going to be a ship. The uh, front of a ship. The bow. The prow. The hull? No, I don't think hull's right. The nose. What about the nose? Anyways, I'm just building it up from foam core, stacking it up. Um, I'm trying to keep the glue away from the edges because I need to carve the edges and it's hard to carve the glue. So yeah, you can see where I'm going here. This takes, uh, you need a sharp blade for this. But just carve it down and make a nice ship kind of surface shape ship shape oh <laughs> sorry so i'm throwing down some air dry clay on this guy too um, i just want a nice solid surface to work with before i move on to the next step i need a bowsprit 
had to look up what that thing was called, but um, I'm just using a bamboo skewer. I ended up shortening this because uh, it was like a little annoying how long it was, but if I want it to look like a ship, it's going to need the pointy bit on the front. And I'm throwing on some PVA as well as hot glue because I want it to stick immediately. And then I gotta do a bit of work to blend this into the building a bit. I don't want it to look totally just slapped on, so... Got PVA and some more um, air dry clay in the mix. And now uh, I'm gonna make wood planking texture with clay. So just slap a, a sheet on there. And I'm going to carve it out. As you can see. So it's pretty satisfying. I'm not sure why. Doing some more blending. And now I've got some PVA on there and I'm gonna wipe that around. And I think that will help the clay stick and also not shrink. Maybe. So now I've got a pretty good surface to work with and I'm gonna carve some planks so that it looks like wood. I don't know what the story is with this building, like why why they have a ship sticking out of it the top. But I think it would be pretty fun to go there. Got some wood grain, got a few knots, didn't go too crazy on the knots. I cut out a bit of that so I could fit in this foam bit, whatever that part is called. I didn't go to shipbuilding school. And now I'm working on whatever part that's called again. I guess I need to look up a diagram. I thought it was gunwales, but there's these like balusters too. And I think gunwales and balusters are maybe not something that are together or whatever. Anyway, that's what it looks like done. I like it. It will be much nicer when I paint it, which will be in the next video. So I'm about done with this video here. Uh, this is the last thing I'm going to get up to. Just putting in another walkway and then blending it in to the rest of the frame. And if you guys have an idea of what I should put in this upper right hand corner, I would love to hear your idea. I don't know what to put there. So here it is. Here's my grand reveal of this unfinished product. I really like how it's turning out so far. This was really fun, and I still have a lot of work to do. So next time, in the next video, there will be painting. I gotta finalize the lighting. I gotta do water under the dock. I gotta do a waterfall. There's gonna be hanging gardens. There's gonna be walkways, slides, and stairs. There's gonna be construction, and there's gonna be greeblies. So, and, and maybe I will learn how to use the dolly that I got, because I'm not very good with it yet. So hope you guys come back for the next video. Thank you for watching.